Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this ThinkTech commentary, which is a review of the Opera Stuck Elevator. Stay tuned and you'll see what we think of the opera and this production. Stuck Elevator was presented by Hawaii Opera Theater at the Blaisdell Arena in Honolulu. It was composed by Byron Ao Yong, libretto by Aaron Jaffris. The principal players were Taka Kamagata as Guang, the 38-year-old Chinese food delivery man who gets stuck in an elevator in the Bronx for 81 hours, and Helen Jibing Huang as Ming, his wife back home in Fujian, China. The story of the opera is largely true and was reported in the New York Times in 2006. Unfortunately, the Times also reported that Guang was undocumented and he had to change his name and disappear to avoid being deported. Now let's see what people thought of it. Hey Lisa, what did you think of the Stuck Elevator Opera presented by Hawaii Opera Theater? Did you enjoy it? Hi Marcus, thanks for asking. I thought it was just great. I enjoyed it a lot and I'm so glad I went to see it. That's great Lisa. Tell me more. Let me tell you some of the things I enjoyed about the opera. I think I most appreciated its relevance to the awful controversy that Trump has created and perpetuated over immigration, immigrants, and human trafficking. At the end, there was a panel discussion on those issues chaired by General Director Andrew Morgan. It also included the composer, the director, and the conductor, all telling us things we would not have known about the opera. I'm so glad I attended. I liked all the players, including Guang and Ming and the others, Marco, Wang Yu, and Zhang Yi. All with great presence and amazing costumes and memorable performances. I enjoyed the dreamlike stories of Guang's life as he languished for so long in the elevator. In the course of this opera, we got to know him very well. And I enjoyed the music, some pieces sounding Chinese and others more melodic. I should mention that the music actually included the sound of a real bicycle wheel, like the sound of Guang's delivery bicycle. How about that for unleashed creativity? All the action was in the confines of an elevator, and yet it extended to all the chapters and memories of Guang's life and his friends and family, so the space of the opera was much larger than just an elevator. I suppose you could say that we are all stuck in our own private elevators. Watching this opera, you could only think of your own elevator and how, like Guang, your life is in the confines of that elevator too. But how about you, Marcus? What did you think about the opera? Well, okay, Lisa. Thanks. I agree with everything you said. And in fact, I feel that some of those things are quite profound. But let me tell you some of the other reactions that come to mind about this production. Let me focus for a moment on the geography. The small stage and the arena was perfect for it. You don't need a lot of space to depict an elevator. And having the players come off the stage into the walkway around it further extended that space and brought the players much closer to the audience, sometimes within touching distance, and that was great in the intimacy it provided. You mentioned the weaving of the stories of Guang's life. That also provided breathing room for the emotional elements of the story, elements that were sometimes happy, sometimes sad, sometimes loving, and sometimes resentful. Elements. I suppose you could say, we all experience in the private elevators of our own lives. And then there was the technology. The sound, even with and especially with electronic microphones, was great. I'm sure everyone in the arena could hear clearly what they were saying and singing. You don't always have that in grand opera. And even if you could not hear everything they were saying and singing, you had the added benefit of supertitles in both English and Mandarin. And that was really great too. When I arrived, I saw the plain wooden elevator graphic on the backdrop. And I thought, oh my goodness, we are just going to have a backdrop of an elevator. Wrong. In fact, it was a very high-tech backdrop of hundreds of TV monitors linked together by which the stage managers could flash any and every kind of graphic, including video graphics on the background, enhancing the stories of Guan's life and imagination. And that was fabulous. I love technology and this was cutting edge for sure. In short, I was fascinated by this opera, and wide awake throughout. I was fascinated by Guang and the other players, by the stage direction, by the sound and music, 
the super titles, and by the graphics and videos constantly changing on the background. The elevator became a window on the world. I thought to myself, this is the way opera can be and should be going forward. It is a great contribution by modern technology to the age-old world of classical opera. Hopefully, it will attract the younger generation we want to attract to opera, and keep them as fascinated as I was. It is a great gift to the American audience, and to the Hawaii audience too. There are other things too, Lisa, but I guess that's all for now. In closing, I would say that this is an example of a modern, high-tech, powerful, avant-garde American opera examining some of the most painful issues of our time and raising our awareness about some of the most troubling things that are going on in our country. Hopefully it will move people to understand those issues, avoid racism and bigotry, and be kinder to immigrants, and perhaps to take steps and adopt legislation to reform our system and make things more humane for them and for us. After all, we do live in a nation of immigrants, don't we? Thanks so much to Hawaii Opera Theater and its general director Andrew Morgan for having brought this opera to Hawaii. Although it has already left town, we hope people will get a chance to see it here or elsewhere. Going forward, it will be well worth your while. Stuck Elevator came to us from the Nashville Opera Company in Nashville, Tennessee, where it was originally produced. Thanks for watching this ThinkTech commentary. And thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in our comments on this opera. We look forward to seeing you again soon for our next ThinkTech commentary. Do you want to know more about Stuck Elevator and other modern operas? See hawaiiopera.org or nashvilleopera.org. Aloha, 